Hi there, it's George Winstone here. Um, I've been asked to do this interview for the SatsCafe.com. It's part of its master's series. And the uh, uh, first question is, when did I start playing the saxophone? And I was 12 years old. I'm 22 now, so I've played for 10 years. Um, and uh, yeah, my first setup was a Yamaha 62 alto saxophone. And uh, I played on a Maya 5 mouthpiece with Rico two and a half. I mean, there was instruments before that, but I can't really remember the details of them. I think that was the first, you know, setup as such, you know, good, good mouthpiece, a good horn, reeds, which weren't paper. Um, and then uh, I've played different setups along the way. Currently, I'm renting my saxophone, which is the horn, Trevor James, and I'm playing a fill tone mouthpiece and uh, Alexander New York 3, strength 3s. Um, how long did I practice a day as a beginner? I didn't practice much at all, very little in fact. Um, and then along the way I've practiced a lot more. Uh, yeah, you know, you kind of got into big hours along the way, but it's, um, now I'm sort of, you know, medium amount of practice currently at the moment, not too taxing. Um, and my top three tips for saxophonists are basically, I don't have to top three, I have one, which is you have to love what you're doing. Uh, have to. Um, just enjoy it. That's the main thing. 100%. It's with anything you do. It doesn't matter whether it's um, piano or saxophone or banking. I don't know if that interests you. Um, but it's just mainly you're loving what you're doing. And when you're loving what you're doing, you're there, absorbed in it, in communion. And that's where you start actually being aware and noticing how everything is feeling rather than being caught up in some kind of uh, dialogue about how it should be feeling. Um, so, yeah, so when I began practicing, I was practicing, uh, you know, I can't, I can't actually remember learning tunes playing long notes. I got really into just playing a note and just feeling how it sounded, feeling the vibration of it. And you know, if there was, and just going with it, and keep going with it until it just feels right. You know, it's an extension of yourself. It should be like just eating a good meal. It just feels, um, you know, when it's not good for you, it will feel bad. When it feels good, then you're like, yes, that's it. And the more you love doing it, the more you're probably going to do it. So you don't have to worry about racking up the hours that way. Um, but just being present and aware with your enjoyment of it and all, all the ins and outs of where that enjoyment leads you to. Um, yeah, so that's, that's really it. The, that's the main tip. I could give, you know, there's so much good stuff out there. Um, you've just got to kind of take it all in, really. Just keep hoarding all the good information. And as you pick up your saxophone and play daily or, yeah, daily, you'll just feel, um, you'll start processing, you know. How, it depends on however you do it. So um, I'm going to play something, you know, something I'm practicing at the moment. Just I'll give you an example of that process, you know. Which is... Uh, to be that which was a whole load of ideas you know in one stream you know consciousness 
can just be one note and you just feel how it feels and it's the more you stick with that the more you're going to be in tune with yourself and the instrument and that's all that matters when playing music that's all you want to hear when you hear a good band or a good musician is how connected they are and uh, yeah thanks um, check out the sax cafe.com more of it Manny's doing a great job there and I have recordings on SoundCloud to check out and uh, I'm currently finishing my degree at the moment so um, there's going to be more stuff up in the next year thanks bye